assalamu alaikum viewers thank you very much that you have liked my video and you have requested me to upload the frequent videos and today the topic under discussion is that is psychology but basically psychology is and from where we have taken this terminology because it is quite different from the rest of the disciplines and from rest of the subjects because we can simply say physics chemistry bio these are the very common things in the common names but psychology is a very different name from where we have taken it this this terminology psychology it was taken from greece language and psyche means soul and uh, logos logos means knowledge so we can say that this is the knowledge of the soul and it is a different subject from the rest of the disciplines in the rest of the subjects we are very much familiar about the physics work we are very much familiar about the chemistry work we are very much familiar about the bio work but what is the task and what is the orientation of psychology what does psychology do how does it work there are various disciplines within the same branch of psychology and we can say that there are approximately 52 branches of psychology and this is such a big number of the psych psychological uh, psychology that it does have various disciplines and various branches of it today i would like to tell you what are the psychology branches how does it work and what is the task and the orientation of those branches number one is the we would start from the clinical psychology clinical psychology this is very common and all those psychologists who have studied psych uh, clinical psychology they are very much familiar about it and whenever we speak to the general people so they will say that you have done degree in the clinical psychology means people know about clinical psychology a lot and um, there are various other branches but people are not familiar about those branches so we would give you a clear view point from the various branches of psychology the clinical psychology is basically related to the psychological disorders those people who suffer from various type of the psychological disorders because there is not a single psychological disorder there as we are having various physical ailments and we are having the various physical diseases in the same way there are various psychological disorders if someone is um, sick on uh, like uh, someone is having the heart problem so he would go to the heart specialist if someone is sick uh, having the stomach problem he would be going to the um, stomach specialist and in, if someone got some liver cirrhosis he would go to liver specialist in the same way there are various sicknesses related to the mental disorders and there is a long list of the mental disorders someone could be the anorexic and bulimic someone could have depression someone could have personality disorder someone could have you know, schizophrenia some, someone could have phobia someone could have a hoarding disorder someone could have neurosis someone could have psychosis so these are the various types of the psychological disorders and we want to identify and we want to diagnose what psychological disorder some particular person is suffering from for that we need to go to the clinical psychologist and clinical psychologist will diagnose the individual disorder either he or she is suffering from phobia or anxiety disorder or ocd or some other disorders so the task of the clinical psychologist is he would be having the clinical interview after the various session one session of the clinical interview who he would be diagnosing that particular person from which psychological disorder he is suffering from then this is the diagnostic level of the clinical uh, psychology then he needs to give the proper therapies psychological interventions would be administered to that particular person and then we uh, we can say that various psychological assessment tests are also being administered to verify either that person is suffering from the particular mm -hmm. disorder or not so there are three people who are working in the clinical environment in the clinical setting one would be the clinical psychologist who has done specialized degree in the clinical psychology and the second person is known as social worker who would be gathering the data from his home environment and his surroundings the third is known as the psychiatrist psychiatrist they have done the mbbs degree and after doing the mbbs degrees they they got the specializations 
in um, psychiatry that's why they are working together in the triangular form not a single person can treat in the clinical setting so this is what we know about the clinical psychology what is the area of the clinical psychology whom it deal with it deals with the diagnosis prognosis and the treatment and who work in the, in the clinical psychology there are three people who will work in clinical psychology one is known as the psychiatrist who can administer the medicine only and the other one is the psychologist who would be administ administering the social uh, psychological interventions and the third is the social worker who will be assisting both of two respectively the second branch of psychology is known as the developmental psychology so as it's obvious from the name what is the developmental psychology developmental psychology is basically known as it covers the area of the lifespan development lifespan development is not short it's such a long period of time like it would be making the research and keeping the study of all the human beings from the time of birth till death and we can categorize it into the various um, age groups for example the infancy period there are seven um, stages of the uh, lifespan development first period is known as the infancy period and the period now is known from birth till 2 years and uh, we need to take the whole developmental span of the child from the physical development how the size of the child is in infant is in increasing then his cognitive development how his mental development is taking place and the third is social development how his social development is taking place in all infancy period and in the infancy period normally all the infants learn to speak learn to walk learn to talk and you know, talking is basically related to the cognitive development walking is related to the physical development and social development he can recognize the people in his surrounding that is known as the um, infant's development from various three aspects second phase after the child is transmitting from the infancy period to the next period that is known as the childhood and we can categorize the childhood in three various sections what are those three various sections like early childhood middle childhood and the later childhood mid early childhood is from 3 to 5 in which this is the school going peri period and child may feel de detachment from the parents when he he or she is leaving the home environment from the and going to the social environment physical development is also um, going at the same pace and he is developing physically he needs uh, to get more nutrients and more nutritious food so social development is then when he is making an interaction with his, with his peer group so he is developing socially in the school environment but he is lacking something which is the detachment from the parents and leaving the home environment and moving to the school this middle childhood is known as from 5 to 7 in this period his social development is easy to understand that he can make more friends his friend circle could be more enough and he get to know that it is part of his life to go to the school physical development is also going at the same pace and cognitive development is also moving towards from the simple phase to the complex phase and uh, when child was able to write and child is able to learn the complex things and he can solve the problem uh, he can uh, do the problem solving and his cognitive development is going at the very fast pace then the third and the last sub stage of the childhood is from 7 to 11 in this cognitive development is at its peak physical development is also going um, with the little slower pace with the lit lower little lower pace and little lower speed he would be um, handling the complex things and he can and develop various uh, cognitive skills as well as the his physical development is also going with the uh, normal pace it's not going at the fast pace then uh, he would be promoting and he get gets the 
understanding from the environment that he'll have to work and he'll have to maintain the relationship in the social surroundings and his cognition is also developing. The next stage is from 12 to 19, that is the adolescent period. And this is a very critical period. We can say that this is a very um, challenging period for not only for the adolescents, rather for their parents, because their physical development is once again at the peak. In the childhood, their physical development was a little slower. But now in the in this phase of the adolescent, their physical development is at extremely fast speed and they would be having various bodily changes, their emotional changes occurs. And um, various psychologists and the researchers have conducted a lot of researches related to the understanding of the adolescents because this is known as the period of strong and stress. At one time, their mood would be uh, at degree A and at the next moment, their mood would be at the degree B because no one can predict their behavior and it is not easy to predict their behavior and but their cognitive skills are also at the peak because they are full of energy, they are full of strength and their cognitive skills are also at peak and their physical energy is also at peak and they must involve in the sports and the games activities at this pace. Their social activity is also at the maximum level because they love to stay out, they love to stay with their friends and there is more peer influence on the adolescents as compared to the rest of the age groups. They want to stay out in their from their houses late at night, they love to watch movies, they love to go out for the picnic and the outing and ho hoteling and um, casinos and um, pubs because most of the time they want to stay away from their parents and they want to live in the circle of their own age group because these are the people who can understand their mental cap capability and the mental capacity. We can say that um, uh, this is a very difficult period to handle uh, this age group and parents need to have a uh, psychological look on their children. The next branch of psychology it deals with the educational branch it, it deals with the the next branch is the educational psychology and what is the educational psychology educational psychology is basically related to the students activities students academics students study there we must have heard from various parents that our ch child don't take interest in their study and they are always reluctant to study they we need to check their aptitude we need to check either they are uh, interested in the study or not so lack of interest is the major problem of the educational psychologist they don't want to study they just keep in their mind that they want to achieve something but without effort without opening the book without reading the material without absorbing the material without retaining the knowledge in their mind this is the stage in which they need to have a psychological guidance and the psychological help and they need a uh, counseling at this level. There are a great number of the students who are very intelligent, but they are unable to solve the paper. That is because of their anxiety level. That is because of their lack of aptitude. And sometimes it happens in all the societies, especially in the Pakistani culture and the Pakistani societies that parents are the elder members of their family they force them you can study science subjects you can study engineering subjects we need to assign and we need to recommend those subjects and the disciplines in which child do have the aptitude we we can assess the aptitude of the child by the application of the psychological tests and there are various psychological aptitude tests Whenever psych psychologists apply those tests, they can get to know about the interest of the students, either they are having interest in the particular subject or not. If we look behind in the olden time, why psychology was discovered? Because in American uh, uh, society, it was such a developed society. Great number of the students were failing 
in mathematics and they call the services for the psychologist why it is happen happening that all the students are getting failure in the specific subjects of mathematics what is the reason behind it whenever psychologist investigated in this situation they got to know and they reach at the goal that those students who are failing in the um, only specifically mathematics they are not intelligent enough they are unable to solve the problems because this is not according to their cognitive level their iq level is not enough and um, the students also does have some problems with the uh, peer group that is why they don't want to go to the campuses students do have some of the issues with the teachers as well because of the favoritism so whenever students are facing any sort of the problem within the campus with with the academics are with the learning abilities are absorbing abilities are um, solving the complex problems then we can say we need to consult a educational psychologist and every university and every college does have the educational psychologist i am trying to be brief the next branch of psychology is known as the counseling psychology and counseling psychology is a very common term and um, every uh, we can say that the counseling psychology can deal to the normal people and the people who are coming to get the guidance they are known as the client they are not known as the patients because they do have the normal uh, abilities and they, they they do have the normal behavior normal attitude but the main thing is they are facing it difficult to solve their problems and they need a little guidance and little suggestion and then they go to the counselor psychologist and con co counselor know that the person is having the ability they they do have the potential to solve their problems they only need little suggestion and after the little suggestion they are problem can be removed with um, clinical intervention in the psychological intervention intervention that is known as the client centered therapy because in the client centered therapy client is the center of attention and he does have the potential to solve his problem he only need little suggestion counseling can be done for the normal people uh, and we can uh, say that uh, educational counseling is being done marital counseling is being done for the minor stressors counseling is being done let's move to the next uh, branch of psychology that is the social psychology what is the social psychology and who are the social psychologists social psychology basically deals with the relationship it deals with the culture it deals with the customs it deals with it deals with establishment of the relationship building the relationship strengthening the relationship prejudice propaganda our behaviors group attitude and it is all related to the society societal norms societal attitudes and behavior of the people basically the major a focal area is what are the attitudes of the people and uh, it is being used in the broader broader sense and uh, social psychologists can study the social norms of the particular society they will be conducting the researches on the attitude and the behavior of the people why people uh, have a prejudiced behavior why people are um, doing the propaganda what is the group behavior how they are interacting in the group how is their relationship how it is establishing and what is the in group behavior and what is the out group behavior what is the, their primary behavior and what is their uh, secondary behavior so this is basically most of the task of the social psychologist is based on the in field work the next is the experimental psychology experimental psychology is a branch of psychology in which all the exp uh, psychological experiments are being conducted in the laboratory environment and in the laboratory setting there would be one experimenter who would be controlling the ind independent variable and the dependent variable and uh, so he needs to check the influence of the independent variable on the dependent variable and he would be using uh, all those um, experimental designs and he would be controlling all the environment within the laboratory setting it is not being conducted in the open field or uh, direct observational method is not used in it there are various sub areas of the experimental psychology like uh, thinking perception and uh, memory these are the focal area of the experimental psychology 
it is mostly based on the experimentation findings of the research hypothesis so on so forth the next branch of psychology is related to the criminal psychology and um, forensic psychology criminal psychology is dealing with the behavior of the criminals but type of their attitude is how they are reacting in the uh, society why they move toward the negative activities and how they become the criminals either there is a some personality defect or that is some chromosomal abnormality but it is usually being um, they become the criminals because of their chromosomal abnormality uh, and uh, we we need to explain it like uh, normal chromosomal value is xy but the criminals chromosome uh, zomal abnormality is instead of having xy they would be having x double y chromosomes that's why they do have the more energy within them that and it leads them towards the negative activities and the terrorist activities and criminal activities we need to give frequent therapeutic interventions to change their behavior and that behavior which is negative and we need to take it towards the positive attitude the next branch of psychology is the environmental psychology which is related to the environment and our surroundings environmental psychology if it is polluted we will be feeling aggression if there is uh, water pollution it can um, cause destruction for the it can cause destruction for the aquatic life and the marine life so environmental psychology is also related to our surroundings what type of the environment we are living in either we are living in a positive or a healthy environment or we are living in a sick environment if someone is living uh, with the unhealthy environment that can have greater influence on the individual the next branch of psychology is known as the forensic branch of psychology and the first, uh, forensic branch of psychology in which the criminals invest in uh, negative behavior is being investigated in it and uh, there are various uh, psychological tests which can be applied to and uh, we can take their various dna tests and we can conclude how why they become the terrorist and how they indulge in the particular um, per particular sort of the crime and uh, how they have treated to the victims and then we can um, give our findings how we can do the forensic um, how can we uh, how we can deal with the forensic uh, forensic psychology that is basically related to the criminal behavior the next branch of psychology is known as the psychological testing in which all the psychological tests are being uh, studied either that is the intelligence test or that is the personality test or that is iq test aptitude test and various type of the psychological tests are being tested and their reliability and the validity is also being checked in this respect so i i hope that you, you will like this lecture and i will come with an other episode of it because there are 52 branches of the various branches of psychology and it does have a broader scope because normally in our society people do have a very negative feelings about the psychology that psychology is a not, not a good subject and there is no scope of psychology i would definitely come with the scope of psychology and where we can apply psychology and what are the rest of the branches of psychology till then allow this